Among the companies Jack and his colleagues created were Aerojet and JPL, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, or as some called it, the Jack Parsons Lab. JPL is built on Arroyo Seco where Jack and Ed had started. It remains a giant in the industry. There are those who say that it was this very success that spelled the doom of Jack Parsons. Now, with government regulation came a whole host of scientists from chemistry, from physics, who were brought in to really start building more and more kind of rockets for the government. And when they stepped in, they realized that Parsons and his colleagues Although they had started this whole thing off, although they had started rocketry off and they had given it its impetus when nobody else was interested in it, they just weren't the sort of people to work within a government agency. You know, Ed Foreman, Jack Parsons' friend, would turn up kind of bloodied from his latest motorcycle crash. Jack Parsons would turn up and start fooling around with all sorts of explosives he wasn't meant to. So slowly but surely, the powers that be started squeezing the original members, the original founders of rocketry in the United States, out. Uh, they were just seen as a liability to, to what would eventually become the military-industrial complex. And uh, Parsons, with his uh, previous kind of friendships with communists, with his interests and membership of a religious cult, uh, was all too easy to, to squeeze out of the business. He challenged conventional thinking. He, con he challenged conventional social thinking. And the social mores of the time then were different from today. And as we know today, people are uncomfortable with alternative lifestyles.